What's up, it's Pep. I'm sitting, sitting here with Ash from Con Art. You know, I'm an icon in the, in the whole graffiti world. I mean, he's been doing it before half y'all been born. So, <laughs> this is Ash. What up, what up? Ash Con Art. Um, OG uh, hip hop. Uh, graph gear pioneer basically you know um, 1989 I was 16 years old I saw the concept of putting graph on tees uh, at that point there was really nobody else in the game except for maybe like Stussy and that wasn't even you know really like, that's crazy so you, so you started con art in 1989 yeah wow that's like how many years is that yeah right so, 20 20 something. <laughs> That's a long time. Yes, I yeah, yeah, like I remember being like a teenager and uh, we, we almost said con art, but we could never get it because we, like, we were, we were all at the skate shop. So we saw a lot of dancers and like wearing it. We saw a lot of people in the whole hip hop community, like artists wearing it. The, but we could never find it. So where was it? Yeah, well, in the beginning, um, when con art was first. Created, there really wasn't a marketplace for it. Yeah, so this, this was, was the first one. This was the first hip hop product that there wasn't even really a home or a hip hop shop at that point. So um, it, uh, like LA's first hip hop shop was Hex's, mm. um, but that came probably like '92 or something, even '91, um, something like that. So. Uh, how I look at it is prior to con art kind of taking form, hip hop product was sportswear apparel, worn triple X, um, baggy, you know, uh, just a style. Um, so, you know, there wasn't really things necessarily created like boutique for, uh, for it, right? It was Carhartt, Ben Davis, Dickies, um, yeah, Timberlands. Really like graffiti hip hop. Brand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Con Art was founded before everybody. Yeah, everybody. Uh, we were, you know, uh, when I say we, it was, it was, uh, you know, I founded it, but it was always a collaboration of me working with all these different artists. So um, immediately, you know, it was artists that I had gone to school with. PJ from West Coast Artists was the first artist on the team. Dello. Was another artist from the uh, East Coast. Old school. Yeah. So he was. Uh, he was another one of the first uh, on the team. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, we just got some customers in the store. Oh, we sit in the uh, Con Art store, by the way, over on Fairfax. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Feel free to take a look. If you got any questions? Let me know. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, um, uh, Fat Laces came out, you know, Puma, Adidas was, you know, being rocked heavily. There were certain things that hip hop gravitated towards or something, but um, Con Art was one of the kind of like first boutique brands uh, using like authentic aerosol artists as our design, you know, base. And for, for me, it was something about, you know, like street credibility, fame, legacy. Um, it didn't matter if you were a dope artist, it was like having that, that street fame that kind of like followed you. Well, <laughs> Be right back.